welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Larisha Andrea and we are about to get into it. This video is sponsored by Wow African. This is the Larisha 06 Yaki Straight Wig. When I say I'm about to slay this wig in this video, y'all, I'm so hyped. So this wig actually does come pre-bleached and pre-plucked. I did not do anything to the lace at all. All. and I will be dyeing the hair jet black off camera. Y'all should already know by now my jet black duo. I use dark and lovely and I use the colors midnight blue and jet black mixed together. So I am doing a natural hair journey. I have been growing my hair back for a couple of months at this point and I wanted to take you guys along for the ride. So I will be putting all of my products that I use in the video down in the description box below. But the first product I'm gonna use is this rosemary spray from as I am love it my favorite spray at the moment it's way more hydrating than the rice water I also use this rosemary oil from Camille Rose this has a very interesting texture to it because it seems like it's going to be a gel but it ends up being a little bit more on the oily side I like to use this because it's like a one hitter quitter it's kind of like a styling gel slash oil in one you guys also are going to be seeing this thermal protectant spray another time in the video because I love this spray for my natural hair as well as my wigs. I don't know what it is about the ingredients in this but I feel like it does a good job with giving my hair some oil and moisturizer to it without weighing my hair down when I straighten and blow dry it. After I put all those products in I'm just going to use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair. I'm going to be putting some heat on it. I'm going to be using a rolling brush from Amazon. I will definitely make sure I put my Amazon store front down below but I'm going to be using cool heat and using this rolling brush just to stretch my hair a little bit because I am going to be putting it in a ponytail when I put on my glueless wig. Everything I see in this video, you can follow along with as far as straightening and installing the wig. But as far as the appearance of the wig, this is exactly how it's gonna look for every customer. This way, you guys don't have to do all in quotation marks, the work that you guys seen on my TikTok. So because this wig is a prototype, it was a little bit too big for my head, but I wanted to show this part of the video anyway, because this can apply for people that have wigs that is just a little bit too big for their head. I'm gonna be downsizing this wig for you guys and because this is a 360 wig I'm going to be cutting the back of the wig these elastic bands I actually got from my nearest beauty supply store I'm going to be using this to do my glueless install today the silicone inside helps the wig stay nice and put on the back of my head I also like it because it has the hooks on it and nowadays a lot of these wigs have those hooks inside of the wig just by default so we might as well capitalize on it and utilize it at the same time. So I just cut the band and fit it to the nape of my head. Then I just cut that and I do use some flame. If you guys are not 18 plus, do not do this to burn the ends of the elastic band just so that it can last a lot longer when I do sew it down on the other side of the wig. So back to my natural hair, I'm just going to be combing my hair back and I'm going to be just doing the hairspray method. I didn't want to use any gel since I went ahead and blow dried my hair. So I just used this hairspray. It's like the knockoff version of the Sebastian spray. You guys always pretty much see me use in my wig videos. This is just a cheaper version because it's the off brand version. But in my opinion, they're pretty much the same. This is just a cheaper price. I just sprayed that in my hair and I'm just going to be brushing that back and I'm just going to retie my hair and then braid it down and clip it back because you know my hair is getting thicker now. Mm -hmm. 
So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of detail with the wig. I did not pluck this lace. You guys was really asking me this on my TikTok. It comes pre-plucked and it comes pre-bleached. This is the way that your hairline and your scalp on your wig is going to look. And I wanted to show you guys that even though this is 22 inches and yaki straight, it is gonna give you that silk press look. Just use a really good thermal protectant spray so it can get that nice natural shine to it. I love to use the flat iron from EAP Heat. I'm also going to be just defining this parting a little bit. Moving forward, I feel like I'm going to stop using such a thick brush when I'm doing my parting. I feel like if I use a smaller, skinnier brush, the parting will look a lot more believable. And then I also took that same hairspray and just sprayed that in the parting space because I don't like that super bright parting look. So I'm going to be taking these little hairs from the front of the wig because I wanted to do what I call adult baby hair. It's kind of like a baby hair look because I do have natural baby hair on my hairline and I just wanted to mimic that with this wig as well. So I'm just going to be pulling out a little bit of the hairs and just cutting around the lace to fit my natural hairline. The goal is to have this wig look as natural as possible. And then when I'm done cutting the lace, I'm just going to be cutting the little hairs that's going around the hairline. Now the fun part, I'm gonna be showing y'all a different way to wear your wigs glueless. And instead of taking our lace spray and putting it on top of our wig, we are gonna be taking that lace spray and putting it on the bottom of the wig. This is the craziest and easiest and simple way to wear your wig glueless and have it stick to your hairline and your forehead. When you apply this wig on your head and you just use some sort of liquid, it can be a skin protector, it can be just plain water. As long as that hairline is moist, when you apply apply this wig onto that moisture, it's going to stick. All you have to do is just put an elastic band on your hairline and let it melt in. It literally cannot get any more simple than this. I wear this wig all the time. I get so many compliments on this wig all the time. People sometimes, if they're not close up to me, think that this is my natural hair, and that is the goal. As far as getting this hair as silky as you guys see in the video, I do love using this thermal protectant spray. I did get it from my nearest beauty supply store and it's so frustrating because I cannot find this brand online anywhere. I have looked on Amazon, I have looked for the website and nothing. If it ever does pop up, I will make sure I link it because it's my favorite thing for putting in because it makes the wigs look like silk. And then I love using a hot comb just to make my wig nice and flat. I have no bumps. It gets super close to my hairline without frying my hairs off and it just makes my hair so sleek. Now this is the hairline once I took that elastic band off and the melt is crazy. This throw on and go wig is everything you need for the holidays. Y'all know it's fairy simber. I'm about to be dropping all the holiday wig makeup. Get ready with me looks to prepare y'all for Xmas and New Year's. I will make sure I leave all the details to this wig down below because when I say it is defined as throw on and go and it's actually that girl just go ahead and click that link down below as always i want to know how y'all feel like i did and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video welcome to fairy simber bye y'all Catch me rolling, I'm the chosen. Snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, most of y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing.